everybody and welcome back once again as we make our second stop along the tour of Inside the Headset. It's Tuesday and I'm over at Riverdale and I've got with me the head coach of the Riverdale Warriors, head coach Will Kreisky. How you doing today, Coach? Doing good. I like the weather today. Uh, we all do. We all do. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice relief. Well, you just finished up Tuesday's practices. One of the most important ones. You've got one more good one. Thursday will be a walkthrough, then you'll get ready for the post Smyrna Friday night. Let's talk a little bit about the club before we get into Smyrna. Um, turning a quarterback, the uh, grandkid, and uh, six foot one, 205 pounds. He's, he's, a, he's, he's grown up a lot, hadn't he, coach? And from last year to this year, I mean, it, it, a year makes a big difference. Yeah, he's been with us over a year now. And, uh, Coach Barnes has been with us over a year. So both of those guys being new, uh, we went through some growing pains last year. But, you know, it's part of it. Anytime you get a whole new offense, mostly we did that last year. The only two of them returning. So, you know, we had a lot of a lot of growing pains last year. But we fought through it. Kids fought all the way hard to the last whistle, all the way up in Lebanon. But, so now they come out with a little hunger taste. You know, the spring was pretty good. Uh, the scrimmage at Hendersonville. Had a good little scrimmage there. Then we've had three preseason scrimmages. They've all been pretty decent. Some good, some great, some not so great. But that's part of growing up. Uh, I like the way our seniors are leading this team and coming out and practicing each and every day. His receivers with Williams and, and Montgomery out there on the, the wideouts, is, uh, is he getting his timing down and enjoying throwing to them? Yeah, yeah, he is. He's been working with them all spring and, and trying to stay on, uh, you know, what their timing and working on, you know, routes and reading. Uh, they're doing a good job, and they're working well with each other. You know, Keyshawn's coming off that ACL injury, yes. so, you know, we kind of, he was mad at me in spring, we wouldn't let him do anything in the spring, and, you know, June, he was, he was, didn't get to do a whole lot in June. What was he right there in June? Was he like 60, uh, No, he was about 70 to 80. Okay. Uh, but still, you know, you'd like him to be a year away before you start doing stuff. Uh, but he, you know, he was, we were pulling him off, you know, he was trying to sneak in and get reps, but he's, he's a hungry kid, he, he missed he missed it last year, and, and, and I think it humbled him a lot. Got a little bit different of a look as far as got a few uh, got a few more uh, artillery pieces in the backfield to run that ball, and, 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 and got Ote, and uh, got uh, Thompson and Verser. Uh, Verser, of course, ran a lot last year, but uh, and DJ DJ Taylor yeah, uh, and DJ Taylor. But you just you just you got three four guys back there that are going to be able to uh, carry the ball, and that's not being. It's not something you've had. Usually you've had one or two, but having four, it's a little bit different of a look. It? Oh, yeah, we got we got some guys, and, and we're excited. Uh, you know, we got to stay healthy. And, yeah, that's the most important yeah. thing. DJ, you know, DJ Taylor, Dominic Taylor, he's had a great offseason. Okay. Yeah, he's, he, you know, he come in toward the end of the year, and him and Versa were split time. And Versa was injured in the Lebanon game, and, and DJ ran for over 200 yards at Lebanon game. So we hope that he'll pick up where he left off. Graham's finger got a little nudged up there yeah. in one of the uh, one of the scrimmages, practices, whatever. But yeah. how's that? Yeah, it's good. You know, we kept him out precautionary thing. It swelled up, and, and now it's it's back to normal. Okay. Know, you know, you know, you know, you know, it was on his throwing hand, yeah. but it but it seems to have developed to come on out of us. You got here in 2016. What's changed, Coach? I mean, what's the biggest thing that you can look back and you say, I don't do this anymore, and I do more of this and less of this. And well, I, I think a lot of things, a lot of things have changed, you know, especially me as a head coach. You know, you learn. You know, I, I remember one time, Coach, I asked Coach Aid a lot. I said, Coach Aid, when do you know when you're ready to be a head coach? He said, Coach, you're never, you're never ready to see the seat. And he was 100 percent right. Never ready because you don't know the day to day messing with officials, you know, maintaining the fields, uh, eligibility on TWA, just all the thing, you know, scheduling buses, you know, now fundraising for a field house, now fundraising to finish up the turf. So, you know, it's uh, I've learned a lot since 2016. It's kept you up at night a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, to say the least. Well, it's not as easy as uh, your opponent. Your opponent uh, is going to blow a, about five million dollars, get a forty-seven hundred square foot facility, and all uh, all compliments of Samara Ready Mix and the Hollings Heads. But Mr. Hollings Head, I've known him. Uh, I've known him to shoot since youth football. I remember Jeff when Jeff played youth football, and uh, the Hollings Head family's been they've been generous to everybody in the county, not only just Smyrna but everybody. Yeah, they 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 really have. They've donated to the baseball and softball turf here. Up out Smyrna, and you know that's that's something good about the community feel over at Smyrna. 
you know, it's some, sometimes I, I miss it. You know, we don't have a middle school here. You know, we don't have a Riverdale middle. Right. You know, we're like the only county school that doesn't have a middle school. Yeah, true. Yeah. When you yeah. say that, you know, so, so a lot we, of people don't realize no, that. No, so we lose that community feel, you yeah. know, because you don't have elementary schools walking, you know, like Oakland, they can, elementary can walk across the street, middle schools can walk across the street. You know, over at Black, Stewart's Greens, you know, Smyrna's even got that. Uh, Rockville. Yeah, even right. So right here, a big rival. So it, it, we, we lose some of the community, small community feel. But I think our admin does a good job to try to keep building that up, keep those relationships from the past, to keep working on it. It's a woman-ran company. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. definitely, and they take care of me, and I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, Ms. Exactly Blair right. and Ms. Turnbull, they both take care of me. Uh, Coach, uh, what's up? Uh, What's the big thing you got to do? What's some of the most important things you got to do between now and Friday night at 7 o'clock when we put that ball in the air? Well, we got to clean up our mistakes, middle mistakes. We got to make sure we're lined up right on defense. We got to make sure we're lined up right there on offense. Uh, offense, we got to make sure we do our job. You know, uh, all, all we preach all the time do your job. Don't worry about somebody else's job. We got to do our job. Uh, and also, you know, we got to play good on special teams. You know, special teams will get you beat for second. So, you know, that's always going in the first couple of games. Special teams always got me up tight a little bit. Uh, you, you never truly know how you just, you don't do it. Especially we haven't done special teams live besides here at practice. So when the whistle blows, the lights come on. That, that's sometimes where it's Yeah, because uh, it, it, it's a lot different because you don't get to do that in a scrimmage. Everything's kind of halted when you get the punt off or the kickoff off, or according to which it, it's according to who you're playing too. Sometimes they don't even want to do special teams. But here in this county. You got to do special teams. You can't make it to the you can't make it through the through the playoffs and to up to the championship without without playing that third piece of the game. Yes, and uh, I think we've been fortunate to uh, have Khalil Armand. You know, he's coming back for his third year, and he is really really bought into kicking, and he works really hard at it. You know, in a forty some odd yard field goal last year. Yes, yeah, you know, he's, he's, he's already. Dead. Yeah, he's not doing his travel soccer because he wants to focus solely on kicking, and so you know we're excited. Does to he see have him. a chance to go on and play yes, today? He does. Uh, yes, he does. The next level as far yeah. as a kicker who's recruiting him uh, i know duke reached out for transcript eastern kentucky uh, has reached out he's put some camps at middle and chat with tc things like that does he want to stay close to home or does he want to go get an education because the duke is it, that's yeah, an education, yeah, education. You know, if you get that piece of paper it's worth some money yes it is you know i think he, hey, he'll be happy with it, right? he just wants to go play the next level Everything else, you've had a good summer. I see you out and about. We're friends on social media. And you, it seems like you've had a good summer. Yeah, we have. We spent a little time with the kids. And the yeah. Family. Uh, you know, so everything's been good. Family's good. You know, unfortunately, we don't talk to one, one side of the family anymore. You know, yeah, I, I, I kind of know that. After the decision he made. So, we, you know, we've kind of separated ourselves from him once August rolled around. It'll, uh, it'll be a little bit different Friday night. The guy that uh, spent 15 years over at that school, we're going to honor him by uh, uh, with, with their decals, you'll honor your uh, honor coach, uh, Coach Wells, with your decals, but uh, couldn't be put together any better. He coached over there, he's coached over here, and, and left us at age 62, and um, we were both at the, at the, uh, at the service, but uh, honoring Bobby Wells, and uh, uh, you know, just a, a guy who loved the game. Yeah, a guy who loved the game with bone cancer, with everything he had. He was all, he, last year he was positive about it. You know, he never was. The thing that tore me up, I remember he only missed one, one football man. He was a lovely, he could come to a lovely game. He would take some apology out. You know, man, you know. You don't want me nothing. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. yeah. Exactly, and that's who Bobby was. Like. He cared about the kids, he cared about relationships. He built relationships and, you know, you saw it. The services, you know, how many people with lives he touched. Absolutely, absolutely. Anything you'd like to say to the faculty, staff, parents, and fans at Riverdale High School before uh, we put the ball in the air? And Stork Vision will be here Friday night. That'll be a big. That's our first game, and we wanted to be here. And it's a classic, Smyrna Riverdale. It's, yeah, it is a big rivalry, and I know uh, the admin team here is working on doing some special things for our game day atmosphere. So we're really excited about that. So it helps it brings a little bit more crowds, a different crowd. Of, we got a, a, a one of our guys, uh, Chris Martin, doing some uh, little DJing things like that going on. So it, it'll be different, you know. Uh, so David Limbaugh, no, he's, he's kind of stepped aside and, and passed, he's, he's, he's passed, passed the wand. He has he is. He is packed up his he's albums he, and left. He, no, he ain't left. No, don't, don't, no, no, no. We got to have Mr. Limbaugh. Mr. Limbaugh is a valuable resource here. 
Uh, he does a tremendous uh, job. But he's not going to be spinning music. Yeah, he said he's kind of ready to pass that along. So. And it's good to go ahead and do it before you get too tired. So yes. he's going to he's going to pass the torch, yeah. and uh, we'll have a new record spinner on Friday night. Yes, we will. All righty, kids. Friday night right here at the Reservation Tomahawk Stadium. Stork Vision will be here. That kickoff's at 7 o'clock, and the link is already out there, so y'all join us.